Welcome back to Bordeaux Life, everyone. We're getting on with osmoing this floor. To be fair, I could have really done with Louis today to be doing the cutting in whilst I do the rollering. Who's that? I don't know. And? Louis, I'm up here. Come on up. Here I am. Oh, nice floor. I don't hang about when, uh, when you're not here, Louis. I get on with things. Why? I get things done quick. Way to go for that. <laughs> How are you doing, Louis? Feeling amazing. Amazing. Ready to go. Did you boot Katy Perry out? You're not feeling hot and cold anymore. No, I'm not. Well, if Katy Perry wants to call me, she can. <laughs> right, let's get on. Enough messing around. Let's get on. Um, if you can do the cutting in, I'm going to do the rollering. We need to get two coats on as quick as possible. So one this morning, one maybe this afternoon or tomorrow. Okay. Don't forget your mask because it's uh, oil-based. Yeah? Okay, and I will take off my shoes.
Très vite. Il faut le deuxième après. I've stopped for a minute here, Anna, because we need to make a decision. Do we chance that it doesn't rain this today? Because uh, Oh, you're I leaving the leave. window open. Yeah, I... it's going to dry a hell of a lot quicker if the window's open. So I'm saying let's go for it. And if it rains, I'll just have to scoot across, across the Osmo and close the window. Uh, Got another coat of Osmo to go on anyway. I think it might. It might what? Rain? It might rain, yes. Well, yeah, this is a problem at the moment. It's almost like April showers in the UK. You, you, everything looks fine, and then all of a sudden, bam, rain. Yeah. Um, okay, I just wanted to show as well, everyone, the actual final colour. The, the, okay, it's not going to be brilliant. This is a brilliant sheen at the moment, but it's going to be satin. But this colour here, you'll, you can see. I don't know whether you can get that nicely on camera. Yeah, Anna. like golden honey. Yeah, golden honey. So a lot of people say, oh, it looks orange, like those those kind of um, armoires and, and kind of sideboards of the 80s, it's going to dry this kind of colour. So it is going to be that golden honey, not an orangey golden honey. It's like just slightly darker yeah, than it really, the walls. It really is what it says on the tin. It's not run sealed, but it is what it says on the tin. It's, uh, it's gold, golden oak. That's what it is. So it's golden, not orange. Um, there you go. On the note of the floor, the reason I'm doing this work now is because there's not a huge amount of work to be done up here, in my view. There's just some ceiling, a couple of partitioning walls and the bathrooms. So nothing, guys. <laughs> but there's no like heavy stone and, and, and block and things like that being built. I've done this floor, well, we've done this floor. Two of us working now. We're going to put another coat on. It's nicely protected then with Osmo. And then once it's dried, and we're going to give it a few days to dry, once it's dried, we can put a visqueen uh, cover on it, which is normally what goes underneath, uh, underneath the, 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 when you pour concrete to keep it nice and uh, dr uh, dry afterwards. So we're going to staple that on everywhere. So it's quite thick, you know, going to get a fairly thick gauge of it. And then we're just going to build on top of it and things. And then when we need to, just cut, cut where the plasterboard is. And then we're going to put the plinths on after. So it should stay nice and clean, famous last words. And everybody's probably going to comment saying, no, it's never going to stay clean. But we're going to try our best to keep it clean, aren't we, Louis? But I'm sure we, we stay clean, but 
If you don't, we will manage a few finish and that's it. So we can like this in the building stuff. Yeah. Not everything stays perfect. At the end, you finish the, the stuff. The retouch. Retouch. The retouch. Hey, we. Honestly, we're not craftsmen. We're craftsmen. Artists. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. I'm an artist. You are an artist. I do hats. I do painting. Picasso is a, an uncle of me. You do hats. You do hats. I'd never have known. Uh, last time we were, we was wearing hats. Yeah, we last time. We were doing that kind of same job. Yeah. But in the passion project. Yeah, Louis reminded me last time we were doing this. Check the video, guys. Uh, <laughs> Link in the description. Uh, and ring that bell. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll pop a link for Louis' uh, Instagram because people often ask about Louis' hat. So we'll put another link in the description on this video as well. Um, let's get on a bit and then we can talk a little bit about layout in a minute. What were you saying, Louis? It's start to rain. Uh -oh. we, we, we just record one minute before. And we're like, oh, maybe yes, maybe not. But in March, in Bordeaux, we call it the Giboulet de Mars. Giboulet de Mars. Giboulet de Mars. It's, it's very sunny and it starts to rain and sunny again. So in, in, in England, that's April showers. Well, yeah, but we're in April showers. Yeah. This is starting to get like the chat of March. Hmm. No. <laughs> Good he didn't get that one. Get no. back to work. <laughs> Anna, I took a look at our old plans and with the bathroom over here and how we had it set up, okay, there was no hole in the floor because we had a shorter door downstairs. Um, it's practically the same layout as we'd gone for at the start. Um, there was a lady in the comments that's done a quick sketch for us uh, called Karen. Of course, it yeah, she, she, she sent us this email, and of course it wasn't to scale, but I got exactly what she was getting at by the mail and the sketch that she'd done. And basically it's a great idea, um, and that is to not have the salon over there, to have the salon where this bedroom was going to be. And like we said, it's a salon come third bedroom. 
So it'd be somewhere out here, all this open, of course, the door to the bathroom there, door to a bedroom there, door to a bedroom there, and then all this open. But I think we'd, we'd put a one meter 20, so like four foot plasterboard barrier along here to stop people being able to walk in through the front door and see what, you know, what's up here. Um, I just think it'd look a lot better that way. Um, and if somebody's sleeping there, then they don't get woken up by the door. Um, on that note, we have closed all of the shutters, battened down all the hatches to make sure that no squatters get back in. But then again, three weeks ago, they did get back in, but that was just a little blip, yeah? So, wanted to check the place, right? yeah, I wanted to check how we'd gone on. They, they didn't want to give us a view and just wanted to check how it'd gone on. No, but when we get these windows in, do not worry. Again, we've had loads of comments saying, oh, it's going to be so gloomy downstairs. Why have you put your kitchen down there? Why is this that? No, it's not. It's actually going to be really bright. We've got lots of windows in here. And for us, it's going to be really interesting when those windows go in downstairs because it's going to be the first time we've ever seen it with, um, with, with, with light. It's, it's always been a, it was like a dingy squat den, wasn't it, when we first uh, came? And all the way through the process, it's been so dark down there. But like I said, don't worry. Once those windows go in, it's going to be really nice and bright. Right, let's get this Osmo finished. Je pense qu'on va avoir juste assez. On va voir comment cela devient un après. Mais... There we go. Lunchtime, Louis. We got Louis, the life assistant. <laughs> yeah, if uh, Spielberg is looking the video, I'm able in uh, July. Fuck. <laughs> Any movies, I'm okay. You'd be great to them. <laughs> Et voilà. Hold on. With your third hand, take the roller. <laughs>
whilst we're waiting for that Osmo to finish upstairs. We're just getting on with a little bit of uh, insulation here. It's expanded uh, polystyrene, so it's really good insulation and uh, it's what we need in this out, indoor outdoor area. Uh, we're going to finish off with some wood afterwards, but I'm going to leave Louis here finishing off here whilst I just sit down and have a boring calculation for first fixes. So that's um, pipes for plumbing and electricity. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you have, please subscribe and ring that bell. <laughs> it's a sound. Thumbs up as well. See you all next time. See you soon. Yeah,